ah kwende huko yeye yeah, ndakana huyo mtu ndakana akuwe na akili don't just call members of parliament just to be in bed with whatever asimame kura akuwe mbunge akuja asimame kura mbunge awache sarakazi you cannot be shouting from there outside there he should come in the parliament eh? be part of the solution don't be just a person to make noises outside there Mheshimiwa mambo vipi? Poa sana bro. Kwanza lazima tuseme kwanza hii ni pamba nzito sio timeweza. Una feel aje leo? Ni una feel tu na fika vizuri. Tukizungumzia kuhusu ile kazi ambayo umekuwa ukifanya pale. Sikio leo ni muone wa Kenya mmeweza kukusanya pamoja. Eh 40,000. Yaani shilingi moja moja mpaka imefika 40,000. Wakisema ni jarabu kupinga kupitisha finance bill wataninyoa na chupa yenye rasta yako. Eh hey. umekuwa mtu wa watu vile umeona wa Kenya wamejitokeza hivyo una feel aje eh uh, uh, wa Kenya nafikiria we will need to review some things mm -hmm. and then because the sharia the voice of the people is the voice of god mm -hmm. and when people have spoken yes leadership also has to be there mm -hmm. you also have to be a leader mm -hmm. so we we'll have to balance mm -hmm. we'll not uh, we because it is going to be voted on the basis of the clause mm -hmm. so there are those ones that will have to that those ones will agree with the world is going to disagree mm -hmm. yeah Ukiangalia okay, vile kumekuwa na hashtag imetrend sana kwa Twitter wanasema uh -huh. uh, reject the finance bill. Uh -huh. Watu wanakutarajia kwamba uipinge hiyo uh -huh. finance bill. Uh -huh. Sijui maoni yako iko wapi, yeah. moyo wako kwa wapi. Eh uh, kuna the way I've just said in your parliament in operate you cannot just uh, yangusha the all. Mm. But there is specific clauses that we will be looking at it because you vote on the basis of the mnapeleka kwa ile nyingine enda division. Mm. Division. Division means that mkiwa mna interject for example, yani nasema like Yani you have different views mm. so now it's subjected under division mm. sasa mna vote mm. one by one mm. yes na utukiangalia pale siku ya jana um, tuliona ile commande pale kwa citizen mm. akasema kwamba the current parliament is already in bed with the president omondi omondi eh yeah, aenda asimame kura omondi aenda asimame kura asimame kura akuwe mbunge akuja asimame kura mbunge awache sarakazi yeah. you cannot be shouting from there outside there he should come in the parliament eh Be part of the solution. Don't be just a person to make noises outside there. Mm. Eh? He should come and call out. Don't call for the members of parliament. Call the ones who brings these things mm. in the parliament. Mm. Don't call members of the parliament. We are there. Once we pro there is uh, another comes from there. You cannot just call. Why does he fear to tell the president that this is where the problem is? Mm. Why call for the members of parliament? Eh? Ah, kwende huko. Yeye yeah, ndakana huyo mtu ndakana akuwe na akili. Don't just call members of parliament just to be in bed with whatever. Also call upon the person who is also bringing those things there. Eh, hey, ama kuje pia simame kura atangaze because the, the the country is also looking for such people. Not to be shouting there, be part of and go and ask Kenyans that this mimi am the person who can go and defend you. Sio kuongeleanga huko vipindi au ni watu wanapenda vipindi. Walikuwa naongelea last time oh They started complaining about members of parliament even before mm. that in Wasaliti even before the, the the bill came into the house mm. and even they were saying today they don't know he doesn't understand mm. what is happening in the house mm. we are even now at the process, uh, looking at uh, the nini the finance bill mm. then the budget now tunaenda mambo ya finance mm. tuna discuss then finance mm. alete hizo proposal tulimekuwa na public participation mm. atuambia alienda wapi kwa public participation aka present tumekuwa na public participation going all around mm. even right now he should showcase and tells the people and should be on the record these are my proposals that are brought in the house hapana kupiga pia kelele huyo mtu mjinga my name is nerima wako i'm the executive director of siasa place and it's a youth organization we encourage young people not only to join politics but to also participate on issues that are happening in our country and to engage in governance is what i do mm -hmm. this is a very opportune time in our country as uh, both the young leaders and young people tumeona mambo inafanyika hapa There is a very common uh, issue that is going on right now about the finance bill 2024. Uh, what is your opinion on it? Opinion zangu ni ziko mingi. Um of course what wengi wanalia juu ya the high cost of living. Uh, a lot of people are worried. Nilikuwa nimeona a few sentences about everybody paying tax including as soon as you turn 25 kuna 
kama kitu inasema you have to pay 300 shillings a month but we don't quite know what exactly will pass some things have changed because of the conversations and we all know that even with the inclusion of some of the taxes coming in vitu mingi zita change and so people not being employed and people not having extra income watu wengi ni mahasla a lot of people are concerned about what they are going to be able to produce and how they are going to be able to uh, make an income in the next few months. What are these like top three things that you feel uh, with, with, with personally affect you or affect Kenyans more? I mean, fuel, it affects kila mtu. Hata kama hauna gari, kwa sababu inamanisha, like even fares itapanda. And then the other things are in terms of whether we are paying insurance or not, even the increase of health insurance with shift coming in, what does that mean, especially for people when you work on a majobo. Or even when we talk about certain instances of manufacturers paying certain taxes, of course the government is saying that they are pushing for uh, companies to look inward and to have less um, imports and more exports. But those are the things that are really going to affect us. I would say the price of goods, um, the price of food will go up, the price of fuel will go up, uh, and that means it's going to impact my everyday life. Last evening we saw something very strange in the country. It could be illegal or weird. But we saw Kenyans uh, sharing numbers of MPs and asking Kenyans to call them and put pressure on them. Wafanya kitu, maybe a petition finance bill. You think this is an awakening for the country? It's an awakening. Tana hiyo pressure ndo wanasikia, wanafakusikia. That's what it means to be a representative. You are a public figure. So private numbers, I know some of them were complaining that their private numbers were exposed. But when you become a representative, you are supposed to be able to be reached and approached. I think this is a different generation handling their issues differently. I think previously to Likwa Tunaonanga watu wakiwa bele ya ofisi ama manyumba za watu wa viongozi, but these days because they are using social media, they are able to put more pressure on our leaders directly and to be able to call them just to know that people are watching you and that's how representatives should feel that Kenyans care about the decisions that they are making on their behalf half and the fact that Katiba inasema that we the people have the sovereign power ni muhimu inamaanisha kuwa vijana they are deciding to take a stand and this is how they are doing it me I'm me I'm proud of it me I'm glad they've done that they should feel that pressure you think it's making a difference or it's going to make a difference eventually? See, it may make a difference because it's easy to naongelea. And the thing is, people are actually feeling nervous. Some of them, they are not going to show up kwa bunge uh, because they are afraid to ground the hot. So they know if I show up in bunge and I vote this way, it will be very hard for me to go back to my community. So it's making a difference. It's making them think twice about, am I making the right decisions for my people? Am I na fuata two party? Am I vile nimeambiwa ku vote? So I think it makes a huge difference. As a young leader, what do you think is uh, another thing maybe uh, p- uh, young, young people can do to participate more on uh, politics and uh, issues that affect their lives? Kujua vitu za siasa, but not only because an uh, influential politician or a celebrity uh, is talking about it, number one. I think number two, young people need to talk about issues around them. Vile wanaongea vitu za football kwa base is important. And I think number three is for them to be concerned about when certain conversations are happening in the community. Unajua hata hapa Nairobi, watu wengi ya wajui, unazaenda city hall, kuna town hall meetings. And these are frequent meetings that are legislated by law. And so a lot of youth don't attend, they don't participate. Ni muhimu kujua zenye zinafanyika and whether you can attend at least one is important. What wana sema, a combination of Gen Z's and Millennials are going maybe to, to bring a revolution, the third revolution to this country. Do you believe that and do you see that coming? Zillennials. <laughs> I, I believe it because I feel... A lot of people, they are very frustrated. Ata tumeona vile depression imepanda. And so many people right now, they don't have 
uh, way of living. So they really feel that something needs to change for them to have a better life and access to opportunity. So I do think that as people continue to get frustrated, they are going to want to do more to change that, and it can only happen with change. So yes, I think they are going to bring change very differently, not the way to Mezoya, and social media is going to be one of the aspects and avenues they will do that. Thank you very much, and uh, continue agitating for a better Kenya. Thank you. Thank you so much.